hello and welcome in this video we are going to learn how to create a shape map visual based on a particular region and how to highlight the areas based on a particular measure so we have duplicated this page and we have this table the first step is to download the map of the country that you want to bring in to the visual and for that you have to go to a website which is called simplemaps.com and you will type this address and the end of the address you will put the country code so for example if i want to see the map of czech republic i will put cz if i want to see the map of germany it should be de and so on we will put the code of the region that we want once we have the region you will have to download the geo json file we save this file the next step is we go to another website which is called mapshaper.org and then we have to import the file that we downloaded okay now we have got this map what we need to do is to make sure that all of the regions they are properly spelled for that we will click on the arrow inspect features and then we will bring our mouse pointer to each of these regions and we will notice the details that are given at the top left corner of the screen in case if we have to make any kind of changes we will make the changes for example here i want to make the change i will click on this state then i'll click on edit and then i will click on the name so for example i want to remove this special character it's like this After we have made all the changes, we have to export it. So we click on export and we are going to export the topo JSON file. Once we have created the map, we'll go back to Power BI. We'll click on the shape map visual and then we are going to bring in the location. When we bring in the location, it defaults to the US map, which is a default feature in Power BI. So we'll go to map settings and then we will bring in our custom map, the last JSON that we created. We see that the map comes here and then we have to bring in any kind of metrics to either the color saturation tooltips or wherever we want. So I'll bring it to the color saturation. Now we can see that the colors have been adjusted accordingly and in case if i want to see this is the region with the highest sales so if i look at the darkest point yes it is and the lowest sales is here this is the lowest one and that's it this is how you create a map visual in power bi one thing that we need to ensure is that the names in our data set they are exactly the same as in our map and that has to be checked when we are correcting the names in the map itself here or we can also have a look at the final json file that we have created and if you go to the end of this json you will find all of the names that you have created so for example we have got these names but here it's quite difficult to find all of the names so i would suggest in case if you have to correct the names you have to correct it here but they should be the same as you have in the data set otherwise you will see some discrepancies let's test it for example here we have got this table and the names are the same as in the map but if we go into our data set and let's say if we change this name and we add a two here enter we save the file and then we refresh the data set what you see that two has been added here but then this part of the map it has become blank and it's showing the name but it's not showing you the value why because as you can see that the name is different than what you have in the table so you have to make sure that the names are the same even though the relationship is between the regions right it's between region id and region id but the names have to be the same if we change it back to the previous name we will see that it will be normalized so we have to take care of this Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.